Hello everybody, Pig in a Party Head here, and today we begin the episode on a very sad note. Percy, my pet parrot, we have not only two death we not we have two deaths to commend. We have the death of Mr. Squiggles and the death of Percy, who died when a cr when mobs attacked our little house out here, so we had to move inside. So today we will have their funerals. First, Percy. On his grave, I place a, fl a yellow flower. A dandelion I got from the jungle where I tamed him and where he lived until he went to live with me. And then over here, we have Mr. Squiggles. Who, on his grave, I place a white flower that shows how bravely he tried to defend. That represents how bl brave, bravely he tried to defend me, but ultimately failed to defend me and from the monsters. May you re may you both rest in peace. Anyway, moving on from that sad and sad sadness. We've all had to move in. We because of how horrible that night was, so we had to, we moved inside, and so, and I died. So that's why I'm only on level seven now. So I'm trying to find our iron. Ah. So. Well, um, while I'm going out and doing all this, getting all these resources and all that, because again, <laughs> surprise, surprise, I forgot to get get resources beforehand. So while I'm cheering all these sheep and whatnot, let me tell you what happened last a few nights ago. So what happened was, so, um, my, me and my mom, we were mine, we were off mining. And so we were in the mines, and we didn't know what time of day it was. But so then we came up, and we went to sleep, and it was pretty late. So we um had to go to so we went to sleep as quick as possible. But when we woke up, I was doing something else, and then. And there was a creeper explosion in which um, Percy died, and so we thought that it had just been a single sad incident and that it was over. But no, a few se a few, uh, just a little bit later, another creeper arrives, which kills um, me, and then seriously injures all of our dogs, and so. We have to, so we are trying to heal them, and then um, we're feeding them, and then I accidentally punch, uh, and then my mom accidentally punches Mr. Squiggles, who gets up and attacks her, and then Miss, and then her dog goes and fights Mr. Squiggles, and her dog won. So yeah, that's why um. Mr. Squiggles is now dead, but, and I was also killed, and on the way back, that we found, um, even more, there were even more, um, there were like, there were just so many creepers that night, and then there was a creeper that exploded over there, and exploded like, if it had been just one block over, then it would have completely devastated one of the walls of the castle. So yeah, even though it was an absolutely horrible, HORRIBLE night, it could have been much worse than it was. So yeah, rest in peace, Percy. Rest in peace, Mr. Squiggles. Got out of bed for some reason.
So let's get back to work. And just today, while I was out doing stuff before the episode, we we've just been having a lot of issues with mobs today recent recently. Like um the um which um uh, like we were um like I was um going into my house to go work on the second floor then I come in and then a skeleton is just there in the lobby he's just like they're sitting on the chair just patiently waiting for me he's like oh piggy I've been expecting you now let me come kill you so yeah that almost killed me and then there was an and then that enderman he was just there waiting on the second floor and then and then we had more issues with creepers so yeah it was just not a very good day for us And, yeah, and I f almost forgot there was that whole bit. While we, one of the reasons that so many monsters spawned was because there were monsters nearby, so we couldn't sleep. So what happened was we ended up, so we had to, like, move our beds all around. And while I was trying to do that, my mom was asleep. She just didn't even care. There were, like, three zombies chasing me. And, and I... And so, yeah, that happened. Yeah, it was just not a very pleasant experience with monsters. But now, but now that we've moved inside, I feel that the worst is over. So you can send me sympathy cards if you don't mind. It was quite traumatic. Let's just wait for these sheep to regrow their wool. Do 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 do. I can't be bothered to wait anymore. So goodbye, sheep. Oh, of course, of course. Arg! Stop regrowing your wool as soon as I'm about to leave. Can you do it while I'm actually in the pen? Okay, so I have my eleven wolves, and then let's go see about um do it trying again. I mean, not trying again. That doesn't really make sense. But working on um replacing building these floors. I just cannot speak today. I apologize. I'm sorry. We'll head down the stairs and then over here. And then, hmm. Sorry, I, again, I don't really have anything to talk about. So, we're just going to sit here awkward. Oh, never. We're, we're just going to sit here awkwardly while sheep get their wool grown. I'm actually going to go get an axe and then go, we can go, um, chop some spruce trees which were all ah dang it 
can go chop some spruce trees, which we're going to need to do anyways. So, we'll head back up this... Or no, not up the stairs, in here. And then we can... Do that, and then we can go... And then hurrah, we have an axe. Let's go tree chopping. And so far only one sheep has grown his wool, which... So yeah, here's two creeper explosions from that horrible night. Excuse me for my... Never mind, I don't have to sneeze, I thought I did. So yeah, that's j those two creeper craters are remnants from that horrible, horrible night. Excuse my... I don't know if it's going to show up in the recording, but my baby brother's talking, and as I mentioned in one of my, um... I think it was the last episode. My brother doesn't really understand the concept of um, quiet, so yeah, sorry about that. And I'm going to need more than six wood, so I don't know why I'm running back to the castle. Let's just chop. And I really do not run out of like a lot of things to talk about during the... um during these episodes so if um you'd like to if you'd like me to talk about and discuss something in an episode then just leave it in the comments and I'm sure I'd be happy to um talk about it yes I I really would appreciate um you giving suggestions for conversations. But looking at it from here, my castle is just like a big block. So I really need to um like work on like giving it a more unique shape. And I have a few ideas for how to do that. So I was thinking it might be kinda cool to um build a stripe of wood to do like a stripe of the wood of this wood like where the floors meet and that can help break it up and of course windows which we are going to do once all the floors are in and furnished so we can see where the windows go just two more wool and then we'll have finished that room and if we go in here then this is going to be the stairwell to the second floor don't, I mean the third floor. Cannot speak today. I, I really do apologize. We'll just install this floor, and hopefully this is enough wood. I think it might just about be. Um, nope. We need one, two, three, four, five more pieces of wood. That's pretty doable. Then on the way down, I can just pick up a bit more wool. Then I'll be able to finish that, and then I'll be able to, um, be ready to actually go and, um, furnish the second floor. Like, do actual furnishings for the second floor of Piggy's Friendly Castle. Which is something I am excited for. I don't know if you are, but I am. Because there's, so there's something just really relaxing about, um, interior design in Minecraft.
let's just head back to bed. And I really want to get to bed tonight so we don't have a repeat of that, um, of the night. That horrible, horrible night. And I really do need to come up with a better name for it, like to commemorate it in historical documents and whatever. Not that there are any in mine in this world, but sure. If you'd like to, um, I was about to say, if you'd like to write some historical documents, then feel free, but I don't really care, so do whatever. Okay. So, then let's just finish installing these this floor. And then, like so. And then, like so. And I am aware that we got almost nothing done on the castle, but we, but we, this was still a pretty big occasion. Consider, I mean, occasion makes us, a pretty big occasion makes it sound like a good thing. It's not exactly a good thing that we had to bury two of our um, pets, but yeah, still that happened. So I, j so I would like to say a big thank you for watching, and a goodbye.